Okay, let's see if we can uh, put all this together here. Uh, this is Power Director, and this is the best way I will start doing the work with this. I create a new file, as you can see there, and I try to put all of my uh, media files on somewhere I know. In this case, I put them on the desktop and I drag them inside that file that I call PowerPoint uh, tutorial, which is what I'm working right now. Uh, that will make it easy for me to go uh, once I am in Power Director to get all the files. Here we have Power Director, which we open already, and uh, all these uh, over here they they open all the time uh, whenever you open a new project. So you go import uh, media files. Uh, you can import folders. Uh, so you saw I have a folder which makes it easier. It will import all of the media files that we got created there on the desktop. I can go and get individual files, but it will be easier if I put everything together, as you will see now. Um, all these other files that were there, that they are all the time opening, I try to get rid of them. So I just. Uh, uh, click and shift and delete them so I don't have to deal with all those uh, files that I don't need. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I pulled some videos from uh, from when I went to San Sebastian in Spain. And uh, here is uh, uh, one of them. We are going to drag it to the uh, place where we will work with them, those tracks. Uh, you can see there we have uh, you can and, and make it bigger uh, so you can see better what you're doing uh, but of course you will lose a lot you can also stretch it so you can have easy way of uh, working with everything and uh, uh, you have different tracks and you can add more I think you can go up to 40 tracks and you can put one on top of another and the last one is the one that you will uh, see but uh, what happens is that you can do um, the, the density or the transparency you can change so you can see the one that's behind it. It's a kind of uh, the Photoshop uh, layer style. Okay, so right now I'm dragging more there. This one comes with video and audio. You can see the video is on top, the audio is in the bottom. And as we will see in a little bit, you can uh, change it, uh, you can, uh, uh, on, on, uh, what do you call that, uh, here, we can move them like this, whenever you see the little hand, you can move them, and you can uh, click, shift, and move the whole bunch of them, these are all in one track, okay, so you can see that I did there, these are all in one track, this one is underneath, and uh, you can uh, uh, clip it, you can this, uh, this, this uh, select the, the audio from the video, you can delete it, uh, you can split it and delete or add a copy, you can do practically anything with this thing and very easy is just uh, drop uh, whatever you want it. That's, I put it on the a track that's for sound, uh, you see the sound and the other one is uh, the video, but there is one specifically for sound, there's S down there, uh, so you can put it anywhere, as a matter of fact. And uh, uh, we are doing removing empty tracks, Just remember I created some tracks because I didn't have enough uh, space, uh, you can create by right click and add track, and as you saw it, and I will do it again uh, in a little bit. So, oh, the music stopped. Uh, that was Habana Abierta, uh, Como Soy Cubano, very nice uh, music. Uh, but now I'm doing it. Now I'm, This is how you record your voice. Okay? I'm, uh, right now I'm recording, but not here. I'm recording doing this. You can record your voice. Here you have different effects that you can uh, add to the videos. Uh, you have to play with it to see how they work on each uh, video you have. Uh, then we'll go to, uh, th these are like um, uh, 
uh, you, you can put these things, I forgot the name now, uh, on, on under or, or on top, uh, let's say on top of a video, uh, and uh, you can see these uh, transparencies, let's call them, see? You can see those are already pre-made, you can do your own, you can do them on uh, Photoshop and save them as PNG, and it will have the same effect. It will have that black thing, but that's a transparent uh, piece, so you can see the, the video that is underneath. Okay, and those are tapas and uh, pinchos from San Sebastian. Uh, th that was great there. Anyway, uh, this other section is um, uh, particles, they call it, and uh, you can drag particles also. See, I'm, I'm going to create another uh, track so I can drag that particle and I can edit it and show you how you can edit the particle uh, effect. So you go here to modify it and uh, you can take the background out see, by going to remove and then once you do that you have a transparency with the particles moving through the actual video and you can edit all the uh, aspects of these uh, uh, particles so you can see you can click on the little pencil the little pencil that you see there sometimes it, it tells you it's to do uh, uh, editing or adjusting it. and you cannot do anything unless you stop like I did right now if you pause it it won't work you have to stop it completely so see here you have the uh, the different edit editing that you can do, you can follow how you do it. It has def different uh, stages. You can bring different particles, you can create your particles. I think you can get some from the internet, from PowerDirector, uh, that you can bring in here. Uh, you can modify the, the way they come out, you know, different ways of uh, modifying it. Uh, here we go, uh, let me see what I have here. Uh, okay, we go down here. Uh, you see it now? You see the Spanish uh, food being covered by, by the particles. And uh, always remember, those are the clips and thus the uh, uh, movie. If you click on any clip, uh, you will see only over there the clip. But once uh, the clip stops, that's it. But if you click on movie, it will go all the way to the end, and you will see all the clips in the sequence. Okay, so you can see now that's what's happening right now. You can keep seeing it. Okay, now we go to the text. It's very important. They, these are some pre uh, selected or custom text that they bring there. You can see they have uh, MGM and, and you can change the text and all of that. But I always use this, which is the, the, the basic one. And you can put the text where it has the T or on a video uh, track. Uh, double click on it or modify and now you see the text uh, you selected and uh, it also always says my text or something there, my title. You can change the font, the type of font, you can change the style, um, the size of course. Uh, uh, so there are different sizes, uh, then you, you have, uh, keep doing the same thing and it didn't change it, that's why I'm going back. Uh, you can do italic, bold, uh, change the color, uh, you can do anything with these uh, titles or these files. Okay, now this is very nice. This is the different uh, starting effect or the ending effect. You will see they have all kinds of them. Once you hover, hover over the text, you have the effect. And then uh, bring another one for the ending. And then uh, uh, choosing that one. Say OK. And now you have the coming in and going out. Just OK that and you can go and uh, you will have your text. The text, of course, you can move down there 
and put it underneath any uh, video, any track that you want. Um, you can make it smaller uh, once uh, you, you click on the uh, actual uh, track. Once you see the little arrow at the end, you can just uh, drag it and make it smaller or bigger so it will last longer on the particular video. That's uh, to modify. Uh, you can do the uh, fade in, fade out, so you can have the videos, as you can see here, you have now a little line, like you have it on the uh, audio, with little dots, those you can move, uh, you can see there the fading effect, how the line moves, okay, and the, as I said before, the uh, sound also will have the same effect. The only thing is that the sound will have it always. This you will have to go there and click on, on uh, fade in, fade out. So it will show on the clip or the track uh, the little line with the dots so you can move it. You can add little dots and move only one section. Just play with it and you can see. And uh, you can see here the transparency. Or you can see part of the uh, the other video track okay, you can do the whole thing you can go back to modify also and change so you can see the two as they transition uh, as I was saying you can go to uh, modify and change the whole transparency of the particular now these are transitions and you can apply the transition just drag them to uh, the connection between two particular uh, uh, clips like like so okay just put it there sometimes you have to make sure it works uh, sometimes you have to put it on one clip or the other clip and, and the effect will change it a little as then uh, I'll try to show you here how they work uh, Oh, by the way, as they move, uh, I don't have a 64-bit uh, operating system. I have uh, Vista 32. And that's a little slow, even though I have like, uh, uh, like 6 uh, megabytes of RAM. Still is slow. You have to have a 64 for it to operate and do its best. Uh, what will happen is that if you put a lot of uh, tracks on top of each other, or a lot of videos, it will tend to, see here it's trying to do it, but it's slow. Uh, it will tend to uh, slow down a bit, and you will see a little uh, rendering line in green, which means it's doing it slowly. Uh, if you have a good computer, well, that, that will really help. Uh, let me see what I'm doing here now. Uh, trying to still see the, that effect. Here you go. See, it broke on those little pieces and came back. Uh, on the other uh, uh, video of the transition. Okay, here we go. Now this is uh, audio. You can click on the audio uh, file or, or track in this case. Here you go. This is the audio. And then you can change so you can do some effects. To it. You can modify. It has other places where you can do changes and clip and do stuff. This is the record. You can record in the microphone, like I'm doing right now. I'm using my camera, uh, webcam, microphone to record this. Okay, here we go. Now, you, know, you can, as you can see, we can remove, we can do all kind of stuff. Uh, probably somewhere right now. Because as a matter of fact, I did this on Camtasia, Camtasia which is another program that records what you do in the computer. Now I moved that uh, recording to Power Director and that's why I am editing because I, I wanted to put it on the on YouTube. Okay. As you can see I'm doing all kind of weird stuff here that I was doing on Camtasia. I don't remember I didn't do it uh, live so this is a recording of, uh, on top of the actual uh, video recording that I did. Uh, prior to this. Okay, we are getting close to the end. I hope I have not bored you at all uh, on learning how to work with this. Uh, here we go. I just removed the audio from the bottom there of that particular clip. And uh, let's see what I am doing here. Uh, 
Okay, up by the way, this uh, side here, once you click, you have all these little uh, 